Hello and welcome back to Nether Survival Season 2, Episode 7, where in this episode we are leaving the base, not permanently though, not permanently, but we're leaving to explore a thing, a thing, and uh, we're, we're gonna need, we're gonna need some new armor here, we, this, this right here, that, that, that's not gonna work, okay, that, that's not gonna work at all, okay, we might even need this. I'm gonna take that. We actually gotta take these as well. Added protection. And extra food, because you never know. We have our crossbow, we have our spectral arrows. We have some extra. Yes, we do. There we go. Getting ready for battle and exploration. Because in this episode, we are exploring another fortress. Because I have, in fact, found one. And I have the coordinates, and we are leaving right now. We have a full, relatively full shield. Uh, might need, hmm, might need some uh, a new axe and new sword. We could, we could do stuff with the iron. We could. All right, I'm not gonna use the iron for this because I'm not sure what to use it for yet. Because even though it has, you know what, actually, um. I'm gonna use five. I'm gonna make things different today. All right. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make things a little bit different. Okay. In the last season, I never made iron tools. This season, we are making an iron sword and an iron axe. That is going to benefit us a lot, I think. Yes, it's gonna take damage and it's gonna deteriorate over time. That is correct. But it will serve us well. We don't need an iron pickaxe because that is gonna break like instantly, and the others here we don't. Oh, whoops, we don't need to make them iron either. But the axe and the sword is gonna really help us in battle, doing more damage, and also it's gonna last. The weapon is gonna last a lot longer, especially the axe, as it does the same amount of damage as a stone axe, but it is um it's better. Interability. Also, we need to remember that the season two goals we have finished all possible advancements, defeat the wither, make a full beacon, that's true, and something special that I still will not reveal yet. Anyways, the coordinates that we need to get to are th around 400 actually. So, wait, I'm going in the wrong way. And Z need to be minus 100, uh, 170, which is right here actually. Uh, now I found it before. I just need to be able to get to the same place again, <laughs> which uh, which could be interesting. What do we have down here? Hold on. Ah! Ow! I mean, this could be the way. <laughs> I mean, it might be the way. It could be the way. Anyways, I've been there. For the blah, blah, blah. I've been there before. I should be able to uh, to make my way over there. How about we time lapse it? Three to one go. All right, the fortress is right up ahead. So that back there, that was the bastion that we looted in like two episodes ago-ish. Um, that's a bastion. Uh, that's a bastion. Basil bastion. Bastion remnant. It's bastion remnant, right? Right. Uh, it's a bastion that we uh, <laughs> that we raided a couple episodes back. And so this fortress was right around the corner, pretty much. You are gonna be an issue because I need to be able to see what on earth I'm gonna be doing here. So, okay, that works. Beautiful. Okay, so how on earth are we actually gonna get over there, though? I think that looks like the way to go because I'm not. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm not gonna bridge over that. I'm not gonna bridge over that. No, not gonna happen. Not happening. Even though this is dangerous as well because of the hoglins. We should be good. There's a blaze spawner, though it's in the open. If it was in a closed area, we could actually 
make a blaze farm. We might... That's actually a project we could do. A blaze farm. There's even some of the fortress going over here, and that's the inside. That's the exciting part. Ugh! Ow! Ow, 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 Mean. I've not even entered the fortress yet, and the blazes hate me. Okay. Alright. I see how it is. Let's first of all get rid of you. I can get more arrows. Uh, I think just one jump should do it. Yep, there we go. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. What? Ow! The other one shot at me. Ow. Eh? Eh. Blaze rod. Nice. Those can be used for, um, as fuel. So, I'll definitely take those. Also, we'll need them for brewing later on when we are actually able to make a brewing stand in 1.16.2. Okay, I'm not gonna... Eh, I'm not gonna deal with you. Um, let's see... Go inside? Yeah, let's go inside right here. Let's, uh... A terrible fortress. We already have a chest, guys. We already have a chest. What is this? It looks... This place looks big. <laughs> Wait, what was that? A bridge connected to that and then that going into that. I like this place. I like this place. I think it's cool so far. Alright, eat some cooked pork chop. And this time I don't have any netherrack. Well, this, this fortress is going to be confusing. What do we have here? <gasps> Two diamonds off the bat. Let's go. Two diamonds. Nice. And a saddle, we can now finally ride a rider. Strider. Yeah, strider. <laughs> Two diamonds! Right off the bat. That's not bad. Before we continue any further though. Um I'm gonna get like half a stack of leather rack. Just so that I can mark where we've been. And I gotta remember we're in hard mode. Not hardcore, but hard mode. So I believe the wither effect is gonna be harder, and, um, well, the damage is gonna be tougher as well. Speaking of which, alright. Let's go for it. This is gonna be very scary, but also very exciting. We already have two diamonds. I'm not gonna be using any of them um, until I have one more, because I want a. Oh, there is a place that is actually bordered up or in the in the enclosed it's in a closed area which means we can actually farm blazes and the axe is great for this because two hits with an axe critical hit kills them just use the shield to block the fire and boom this is a great way for us actually to get um uh, to get blaze rod. This is really, really nice, actually. Anytime now. There they are. Eh. Oh. Don't you dare. Gotcha. Alright, that's enough of that. Let's move on. <laughs> we have that here, so that is really, really good. What do we have down here? Nothing. What do we got over here? Back to the open. Nah. I'll, uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll gladly be indoors. <laughs> Alright, I'm probably... You. We'll need you. We'll need your hits eventually. Eh. I really like the axe as a weapon. I really, really do. Alright, I'll save the go downy bit. Uh, for later. Yeah, let's cover this floor first. Open. Dead end. Chest. Okay. <gasps> Two more diamonds! We can make a diamond pickaxe now! We can actually make it the diamond pickaxe now. Which means, you know what that means? We can start collecting netherite, actually. Whoa! Whoa! Where did you come from? Where did you come from? Oh, no. Where on earth did he come from? He gave me a shock. Oh, dear. Okay. He shocked me. <laughs> he 
He shocked me. Okay. Wow. Well then. Um. Whew. Okay. This place just got scary. Anyways, four diamonds. That's really good. We can make a diamond pickaxe, which means we could technically start mining for netherite. Which is really cool. Also, nether wart. Don't mind if I do. Because we'll need that eventually. There we go. Another chest. Please be more diamonds. That would be so awesome. Just check the corners. No, but we have obsidian and gold and saddle and... Why do I get take the whole sun again? All right, we can uh, we can we can smelt those down for nuggets. That's right. We'll take them because of that. Obsidian, we can use those for in the chests as well in the future when we get up here. Oh, another chest right up right up here. Okay. Check. Another diamond. We can we can make a diamond pickaxe and a diamond sword now. Pretty much. Though I, honestly, I don't think I want a sword this season. I think I'm gonna convert to axe. Because axe is really useful. What? This must be the best fortress ever. Eight diamonds in total. Oh no. I'm not gonna break this one. I don't want to get in trouble. Um, this must be one of the best fortresses. I don't remember the in the last season there was a fortress that also had a lot of diamonds in it, but was that only five or seven? So far we have eight. If you remember, let me know down below in the comments, but this... This is amazing. Our first fortress in the series. And we have this much diamonds. Like... That's not bad at all. This is really good. Alright, this is this area of the fortress covered. Just gotta be careful where we run, because you never know what's gonna be around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> it's scary here. Okay. Now we should also keep in mind... Because we have Bard. Wait a second. <gasps> I completely forgot. Enchanting is now available. Because we have these diamonds, now we can make an enchantment table. Now it should be noted that we can't make it from the nether purely. We have Bob up there, back at home, who are able to trade us some paper, I believe for some gold. Which means we then can make the enchantment table. Now I just need to find a fitting price for lapis. And I'm thinking, what do you think of the price one gold ingot for one lapis lazuli? Let me know what you think of that price down below. But yeah, I completely forgot about that. That is really, really exciting. That is one of the things why a change in Season 2 from Season 1, we were able to do a lot more things because of Bob. Like enchanting, we, are, we were not able to do enchanting stuff in Season 1, but now we can in Season 2, which is really, really exciting. So let me know what you think down below the price should be for a Lapis Lazuli. Or three, let me know what you think. I'm thinking maybe a gold ingot for one Lapis, maybe three for one. Maybe, so it's more expensive to get higher level enchantments. It is expensive already, because, um... Can you even make bookshelves with, like, the warped wood? I don't even know. But you get the idea. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Alright. Uh... Let's, uh, go over here first, I think. Oh, this is outside. Okay, this is... This is outside. We're not gonna have any chests over here. Yeah. Hey buddy, goodbye. <laughs> Alright, let's go down then. Let's go down. Would be amazing if we got like two more diamonds. That would be amazing. But uh, I'll be quite happy with the amount that we have already. I'll not complain. Okay, that's a very long corridor. There we go. Alright, let's see what's at the end of it. Alright. Huh. Okay. Another corner. Let's see. Heh. Okay. Please be a chest. There has to be a chest on one of these. Wow, no chest. That's interesting. But hold on, what is... Huh? What's this? Why is this? Is this another corridor in here? Maybe... W okay, I think we probably already were up there. Uh at the floor on top of us. 
All right. Uh, is that the entire f inside of the fortress done? I think it might be actually, you know. This one though is such a long corridor. Hold up, never mind. I forgot to go up the staircase at the nether ward. Okay. I forgot. We're doing it now. <laughs> okay, let's see if we get anything up here. Nope, then let's have a peek though. Let's have a quick peek. Death. That's what I see. Death, death, death. Funny. Wait, what? Is that pigmen on striders with saddles? Is that even doable? Huh. Okay. I mean, do they keep the saddle then if we kill the pigmen? That would be interesting. Hmm. Okay then. Uh, dead end, and this is another dead end. All right, I would like to get like over there. Was that the thing we could see from when we came here? Let me get on outside. Let's get on top of this fortress somewhere and let's have a look, a proper look around the nether from this thing. If I can find my way out of here. Uh, did we go back here? Oh yeah, we did. Okay, where can we go out? Now out and top is gonna be dangerous. Never mind, it's clear. Okay, this one has been significantly, I feel, quiet and safe. Probably won't be the case if we return. <laughs> I wanna get up there. If I can. Uh, should be able to, I just don't want to get shot in the back. Punched or anything. Okay. Let's kill these with a skeletons, because we'll we're gonna need with a skeleton heads. Please go down, sir. I am not gonna get smacked today. Okay. One coal. That's alright. We can make soul torches actually with that. That's really good. Okay, there's another one down there. There's another skeleton over there. My voice is dying. There he is. I'm gonna go down there. Let's see how far that goes. It looks like it just cuts off. Like, without having an end like this that is, like, broken. I wanna see... what's over there. Oh, dear. Okay. I think I was a little bit too confident. <laughs> Come on. Go down. Uh, wait. Where am I going? Where am I gonna go? Huh? No, 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 okay, gotcha. I really like the axe as a weapon. I really do. It does so much damage. I love it. All right, it's getting a little bit dangerous out here. We have blaze and blaze. That's not good. And skeleton and a wither skeleton. I do want the wither skeleton though. Uh, I just want to look. Every. If we got a, like, um, ruined portal, that would be epic. But it does not look like there is. I might go explore a little bit since we're here anyway. But even if this is the end... Oh, well, the skeleton is gone. But even if this is the end... Um... Ow! <laughs> I think this loot was pretty good. Oh, no. You know what? I'm gonna make a box. I'm gonna make a safe box here. There. That is a safe... That's about of, of a box that I'll, that that you'll get. <laughs> oh wait, I must have those wither skeletons. I want the hit so bad. There's so many, so many fireballs coming at us, but it's worth it. Die. What? Okay, we're taking the fight on. The fight is on. First, we gotta get rid of the blazes, cause otherwise those are gonna be a pain. Oh wow, look at how many Wither Skeletons there are. This should not be okay. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, this is gonna be a very gruesome battle. You know what? Sort out for this one. Sort out quicker swings. Can hit multiple enemies. Okay, you can probably hear the keyboard going wild. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, in the end we can always jump over there and they can't follow us. Okay, that's good. Good to know. Come on. To battle. There's two, four more. I want to do. Whoa. I want to defeat. Okay, that's one. And. Eh. I don't like getting this close. Alright, we don't have a head yet. We need a head to be able to spawn the wither. Not that we're ready for that. Ah! I hate blazes. I have a very. I hate them. Okay, where's the other one? Did he fall something? Looks like he fell. Okay. Whew. Let me get to a safe, safe place then. Alright. I feel that was pretty successful. Let's take a look at what the what the loot was, shall we? Oh wait, is that a cast here? Give me. It'll definitely come in handy. Definitely. Alright, let's take a look at the loot that we got. We got 13 gold ingots, we got 3 obsidian, 5 blaze powder, uh, some gunpowder, I'm not gonna count on that, uh, 54 nether wart, 2 coal, a gold sword, which will be able to turn down into nuggets, so gold nuggets right here, some iron nuggets from the ho iron horse armor, a saddle, some bones, actually 2 saddles, 8 diamonds, and 5 chests, 8 diamonds, that's epic, that is really really cool, that'll be a diamond pickaxe, and then we'll still have, what, four, five diamonds remaining. Two we will definitely use for an enchantment table. So that might be an axe, a diamond pickaxe, and an enchantment table. Let me all know your thoughts of that down below. But anyways, guys, I'm going to call it an episode here. We looted the fortress, and that was a huge reward. I think it's time to go home. I am, though, going to have just a peek around here just explore a little bit further just to see if maybe there's a ruined portal or something um, because then we will be able to take care of that in the next episode and just if there should be a bastion remnant or something that we could maybe loot as well while we're out but i really should get home with these diamonds so i think that is what i'm gonna do but anyways i hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you in the next one where we will probably be making an enchantment table let me know your thoughts of the price for Lapis Lazuli, and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day, and goodbye.